proof of the change of base rule for logs. So here was the change of base rule, and we used that in a previous video, where B, the inside part of the log, is in the numerator, A is in the denominator, and you have the new base here. So, first step, let log base A of B equal X. So this part is called X. And then we can change that to exponential form as we've done many times. The exponent you put on A to get B is X. X is the exponent you put on A to get B. That's the meaning of this log statement. That's the very definition of it. Then I'm just going to write down this part up here. Log base C of B. That's that part log base C of B and just see what it's equal to. Well the B is sitting right here. That's the B. But that's B is equal to A to the X. So I'm going to substitute it into this statement. Log base C of A to the X. Because B is A to the X. Now I'm going to use the power rule. I'm going to write the statement down. Uh, this is the next step. These are the step. These arrow things mean implies or then. So you have each of them leading to the next step. So I'm going to use the power rule. Bring the X down in the front. See here it is down in the front. It was on the A. Now it's down in the front X. And I'm just copying down this left hand side. Now we're going to divide both sides by log base C of A. It comes under, it cancels off the right, comes underneath here on this side. And X is solved for. Then I'm just going to turn it around. I'm just going to rewrite it with the X on the left. X is log base C of B over log base C of A. And what was X? X was log base A of B x was log base a of b and that's the change of base rule so that is proved